Hey guys, welcome to No Code Engineer. In this lesson, I'll show you how to enable your users to upload multiple pictures on your platform. So let's get started and build such a feature. First thing we'll need is a new page. I'm gonna name this page Upload Pictures. I'm gonna clone it from the index page. Create. All right, I'm gonna delete these elements right here. Right, that's gone. And now let's see how to upload multiple pictures. The first thing we'll need is a button that says click here to upload pictures. And then we'll need a pop-up. Alright, this looks good. And then we'll need an input, a plugin for an input called the multi-file uploader. To add a plugin, you just have to click here and look for multi-file uploader, this plugin. You just, you just have to click on install button here and then click done and the multi-file uploader will be visible on this panel right here. Click on the multi-file uploader and drag it across your pop-up to occupy half of the pop-up area. And then let's give it a border, Put a solid roundness of 5, color probably gray, and background a flat color. Alright, now let's also have a repeating verb just next to this uh, multi-file uploader. We'll give the same border and background. And make it two columns. Alright, looks good. And probably reduce the size of this pop-up. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that uh, when, when we upload pictures on the multi-file uploader, we're only gonna see the names of the pictures, we're not actually gonna see the pictures themselves. So that's why we need a repeating group here, so that every time we upload a picture, we see the actual picture here in the repeating group. So that's why. Here, when you go up, the type of content of this repeating group will be file because we're gonna get the data for this repeating group from this multi file uploader. Data source of this repeating group will be multi file uploader A. And then finally, we'll need an image inside this repeating group. Let's drag it right page. All right, and this will be a dynamic image, will just be the current cells file. All right, that's it. And then we'll need another repeating group on this page, just wide enough like this. The type of content of this repeating group will also be file, and that a source will be multi-file uploader. Let's give it three columns and three rows from it. Okay, and let's make it full list. Then let's have an image inside this repeating group. This will be a dynamic image, will be the current cells file. Alright, that's it. And now let's have a button to save these files in our database. 
All right, so when button save is clicked, we start with the workflow and we, we save the pictures in our database. So we make changes to a thing, current user, and we create a field to save the pictures. Let's say random pictures. Let's bracket say images. We will type the image list of images and we do add multi-file uploader age value item number one we do change another field random pictures images add copy expression multi-file uploaders value item number two and and like that we can add as many pictures we want add multi-file uploaders value item number three so this is how you save the pictures in the form of an image in the bubble database it's always a good practice to save your images in the form of an image and also in the form of a file so let's make another field random pictures let's say files this field type of this random pictures will be file and it will be a list for a file type we can add all pictures together at one go and it will be multi-file uploaders value and that's it why do we have to save the images in the form of image and in the form of file well uh, there is one reason for it and that is there is a plugin in bubble called the slideshow element and the slideshow element sometimes have issues working well if you save all your pictures at one go in the form of an image that's why it's always a good practice to save your images one at a time when you're saving it as an image and sometimes you need the image as a file to uh, display in your and sometimes for some features to work you also need the images in the form of a file so that's why it's always a good practice to save the save the pictures in the form of an image and also in the form of a file and remember whenever you are saving the pictures in the form of an image you always have to do it one by one all right let's close this box and now let's refresh it Could refresh page okay and lastly one more thing you can do is that in the pop-up in the multi-file uploader you can see this value called initial files to display you can always set this value to default of something you can say display current users random pictures files so whenever you have you open this page you will already see some pictures which are saved in your database now let's now finally let's give life to this button here so when this button is clicked we should be able to see the uh, pop-up Alright, that's it. Now let's click on preview and see if the feature works. Okay, let's click here. Upload some pictures. Or three pictures. Actually, no matter the number of pictures I upload, it's only gonna save three pictures because uh, in the workflow I specified to save only three pictures. I did not mention to save more pictures. If I go close this pop up and I click on save here. Nice, our pictures are saved now. Now, when we go back to the database and we go to app data.
the random pictures. It's random pictures and files and images. We were this user, and here we can see that the random pictures and random files are both saved. Alright, so that's it guys, that's how you create a feature that allows your users to upload multiple pictures at one time. Thank you so much for watching, I'll be back with more videos and more lessons. Take care, bye bye, see you soon.